What is happening guys and girls here on YouTube? Thanks for stopping back by the channel. Right here with the Rust Belt Mechanic. I'm not doing so much mechanic stuff today, but I've got the day off. I've got to get a lot of stuff done. I've been uh, trimming the tree, so I got the uh, bed of the Duramax loaded down with some tree branches. I got to do some stuff around the pool, and I got to do yard work, you know, the whole long laundry list. And then on top of that, the tire on my Mini Cooper has kind of went flat. So I need to get that one over to the shop, but that gave me a good idea to show you guys a couple of really awesome household tools that I have that just are hanging around here that kind of save my butt from time to time when I'm not really at the shop. So we'll go through a list of those, what I think is pretty awesome around my house, and uh, hope you guys enjoy. So the very first tool in my list that I come to today is going to be my Camelback small air compressor. It's made by a company called Audu, A-U-D-E-W. Um, I will put a link down in the description for these guys. And uh, this is a little compressor that I carry around in the bed of my truck, have for a couple of months now. Uh, it's a pretty awesome little compressor and it's able to save my butt when I've got a car here but I need to get to the shop to get the tire uh, either replaced or repaired. So this little compressor, it's a two cylinder compressor. It's pretty awesome. It can either hook up to a cigarette lighter or it can hook up to, it's got an adapter to hook up to a battery for a little bit more juice. So this one being a two cylinder compressor, it's a little bit bigger than the ones that you carry in a smaller car. I do have one of their smaller compressors as well and I don't use it that often. I've got an extra one that I have gave my wife, so who knows? I might give one away to you guys. But uh, we're gonna pump the mini uh, tire up and see how fast this can do it. So I've got the Audu air compressor hooked up to the mini's tire. It's starting off at about five PSI. As you can see, it does have a little threaded port. It threads right onto the valve stem. The compressor's right there. And I'm gonna hook it up to my Jump pack, my Genius Boost GB70, which uh, will be my next tool on the list, so stay tuned on that one. But we are going to hook this up, and we will see how fast this compressor can pump up the Mini Cooper tire from pretty much nothing up to, we'll say, you know, the 40 PSI. there we are guys from my stopwatch here it took about a minute and 25 seconds to blow a mini cooper up tire up from zero to about 40 psi so pretty darn good for a little compressor that you can throw in the bed of your truck the second one on my list is going to be my genius boost gb70 jump pack I did feature it on one of my previous videos for my truck toolbox tour, uh, but this thing is, it really should be my number one favorite because this thing has saved me more times than I know, both at home and at work. So it's got the balls to really jump big things and, you know, holds a charge for a really long time. It's got, so it says up to 2000 amps, which is, you know, a little bit high, but I'd say it's a pretty good assumption that it could jump a diesel truck uh, it has a pretty drained down battery. Now you're, if you're talking like semis and stuff, no, it's not gonna do that. But any car, Hemi, big V8, or smaller, or not smaller, but regular diesel that has a drain battery, this will jump it, turn it on, and you're able to see the state of charge of it. Uh, if a battery is all the way charged or discharged, you're not gonna be able to have it tell what the continuity or what the negative and positive ends are so you're going to have to hold this exclamation point button down which will manually turn it on so you better know what you're doing and better have it hooked up right because it's going to turn on no matter what if you hold that down all in all this is a really awesome tool 
one that I would definitely re would recommend to you guys. You definitely need to get. I'll put this one down in the description below of where I got this one. Third one on my list is not really a single tool, but a set of tools. I'm really a fan of the Royobi line. Royobi tools, they do awesome for me at home. I've got sander, nailer, screw gun, batteries. I got a pump for my hot tub that I just had to drain. I've got a trimmer. I've got over there, I've got a miter saw. I've got a leaf blower here, and I've got an impact gun, but it's down in the basement. I was using it for another project. Royobi has like the largest line of tools that use the same battery. They've used the same battery forever and they'll continue to use the same battery. It keeps on hooking up to the same things. Yes, they do have a 40 volt line for some of their lawn equipment, but I still like to use the 18 volt line because their line is, you know, it just really works. We got one of their larger capacity batteries and a couple of standard ones for their lithium 18 volt series. Their lineup, like I said, is the largest in the industry, and I have never had to return a Royobi tool yet, which is kind of crazy. I tend to break tools, but I would have to recommend Royobi tools for any of your household tools if you are looking into those. Which meanders me into my fourth one, and this would be my Milwaukee toolbox. Yes, I do have a Milwaukee toolbox. You guys can hate all you want. My snap-on's at work. I don't want another $4,000 toolbox at home. I only work like three and a half miles away from my house, so doing side work is not really that big of a thing for me doing, you know, for me here at the house. I just do little woodwork projects, enough to just fix my own little stuff here at home. I've got screws, screwdrivers, regular things, pliers, little parts, a decent socket drawer, just to muddle me through what I really need. But what I really like about the uh, Milwaukee line is the coating on it. It's almost like a bed liner. It's an, a rough coat, but it's an extra thick paint that's on it. I really like that. One thing that I wish Snap-on would do would have their dampening drawer systems. You know, as you slam the drawer, you can't physically slam it. I can slam this thing as hard as I want, it stops and slowly moves itself in. It's a really neat thing to have. It's got a power strip here in the side, another power strip along the side of the toolbox, and a ton of room. I've got this one that is the top and bottom sections. A really great toolbox to have at home, and it's gonna hold up forever. I definitely recommend that. And last but certainly but not least would be the good old Duramax. Anybody who has a truck or really uses it knows the importance and reliability of their truck is how they really do things from day to day. I've got mine loaded with branches. I'm about ready to go use it to load up logs that we're going to be doing for a camping trip here over the next week or so. The truck is the number one aspect of any person who does work out of their own home. You gotta go get groceries, you gotta go pick up a stove, you gotta help a buddy move, you need a truck. You definitely have to have one. So that is definitely why, the, not just the Duramax, but it does hail. The Duramax would be at the top of my list. Well guys, that was my list of my top five at home project tools that usually work the best for me. Uh, in the comments down below, I want to hear what you guys think are your top five at home save me or project tools that you enjoy. Not at the shop, but those lifesaver moment tools at your house. Uh, the best top five that I think would match, you know, that are not mine, you guys put those down in the comments. Whoever has the best top five, I will pick just a random one that I enjoy your top five list from here in a couple of days. I will give away another. Audu air compressor, 150 PSI, one that plugs into your cigarette lighter just for saving your butt in those times of need. If you don't got one of those, make sure you put in the comments your top five at home tools. Again, guys, thanks for stopping back by the channel. I really appreciate everything you do for me. And as always, you stay awesome.